Alright, check this camper I got. My buddy gave it to me. Jeff, the one I always rub his head on in my videos. But here, just check the inside out. Dun, 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 dun. It's been sitting for a long time. It's got a little leak in the roof, as you can see up there. But I'll try to fix it up. I'm going to take a good look at it, see if it's worth fixing up at least. It's in here. Bathroom. Because nobody's been in this thing in like five years. Here, I see something real gross. Uh, stove. I'm afraid to open it. Sinks. I don't know. I'm going to play with it and see what I can come up with. Well, let's see what I got done in the last couple hours. Hmm. I gutted everything. Because this water was coming up over here and got this whole side wet. So I cut it all out. <laughs> I put all new wood in. All right, Billy D with the extreme trailer park trash makeover. Now, here's what I did. I gutted this whole entire section. You can see the aluminum. That's just the little. That's the outside aluminum in it. All these things are. I think they're one by ones or uh, two by twos. Yeah, they're two by twos. All framed in and just a bunch of uh, aluminum shingles over it. Now I've rebuilt this whole subfloor here. It was all rotted away, so I ripped it all the way back out. And, of course, overdid it. Filled out two by fours. Okay, I did a little work to the outside of it. I power washed it. It's really can't even tell. Painted the wheels flat black. I wish I could paint the whole thing black, but it would be too hot inside. Painted all the rusty, rusty stuff in the front with some rusty oleum paint. I put the propane tanks on here today because I wanted to try and see if I can get the heater, the stove, and I try to get the refrigerator to work. It's one of those fridges that work off of uh, electric or propane. And um, I plugged it in for a little bit and it never started getting cold, so I gave up on it. Well, I found out, I put the propane, I turned it on, and I found out you gotta leave them on for a while before they start working. That refrigerator got down to 35 degrees. Oh, I'm halfway done with the roof, as you can see. It's this silver tar stuff. Rubber eyes, rubber strands, blah, blah, blah. But it stinks, it's hot, it's sunny. It's like, it's not as hot as it's been, it's like 83 degrees, but it's no rain forecast for two days, at which they say you need 24 to 48 hours to cure the stuff. And this is how I'm doing it. I'm standing on top of my van and putting the crap on top of there, and I got a ladder on the other side. All right, hopefully I don't kill myself, Billy D. All right, here's a shot of the roof after I got done. I know I didn't get totally up in there. Couldn't reach, and I didn't want to stand on the roof because I thought it would cave in. But that's got the, all that sealer on there. You can see it's still a little shiny, it's still a little tacky, but boy, I put it on thick. I think it'll, uh, yeah, I think it'll hold. At least for, if I get five years out of it, I'll be more than happy. Alrighty, I got the flooring in, yay. I glued it all down with liquid nail, and then I silicone that line right up in there, just because I have OCD. The roof, everything, about ten, about six cans of spray foam in this thing. Um, I got the plumbing hooked up and the sink worked. The toilet leaked. The valve on the back of the toilet needs fixed or whatever. And the stove works. I got, like I said, I got the heater and the fridge. I got the fridge to work and look at, I cleaned it out. There's no more black cookie crap in here. Plus after I got done scrubbing it all, I used a sanitizer from what I use for brewing beer and I sprayed it down with the sanitizer, two different kinds. I use one step cleaner, or metabisulfite, then one step to kill anything that's in it. It'll kill anything, any kind of bacteria, mold, any of that crap. It's better than Clorox. And so I got the floor in, like I said, I, I'm a little hesitant on the walls yet because I want to, I want it to rain before I put any wall, any of the paneling up on the walls and stuff. Well, there we go. I got all the insulation in there as much as I'm putting in there. I got a hole to fill there. A hole to fill there. A hole to fill there. But anyways, it's insulated. I'm getting ready to put the paneling up on the walls. I'm going to do the side walls, this wall and this wall first. Darn it, I got to put that stupid foam up. I forgot about it. All right, I got to go back to work. Everything else is getting there. Well, let's see what I got done here. I started cleaning last night. Painted that. Um, <clears throat> got all the paneling in. It's kind of hard to see right now. I have to put the trim around the windows. I got the screen up in front of the windows. Got all the trim in. 
I didn't put any floor or carpet in it yet. Ceiling's done. I have to finish up some more trim work, but it's getting there. Yeah. All right, I think she's as done as she's gonna be for e jets and for camping. <laughs> no, that's my camper. There it is. The walls are done. The trim's done. The only thing I can do is put the carpeting in. I have to go get a piece of carpeting. I'm not going to put linoleum in there, but here she is. All that nasty wood. You know what? Look at this. I cut a piece a little short. I'll put a piece in there. But there's the rest of it. I cleaned it up a little bit. I'm going to get the seats reupholstered. That piece and the drapes made all in the same uh, material. A friend of mine's wife's going to do it. And the refrigerator's clean. Stove works. Uh, little thingies over right here. It's like a real stove. There we go. Ooh. I can replace that. Look how corroded that is. That sink's nice. Alright. Here's Billy D's extreme trailer park trash mic over. Nah. I'll use it. We'll get about five years probably out of this camper. And then I can gut it and make it a big airplane hanger. <laughs> Alright. Thanks a lot for watching this stupid video of me making, making, me redoing an old motorhome. 1974, by the way, if I didn't say it's a 1974 wilderness, I think is the name of it.